Well hello my friends, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to episode 2 of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. This is my single player campaign series, and I want just to let you all know that I'm doing a lot of tutorial videos on the channel. So if you're looking for quick tips and guides and stuff, then be sure to check out the playlist that I have on the channel. It'll be on the front page, and yeah, there's loads there that'll help you out. But anyway, in the meantime, I've been fighting a lot of looters and stuff, building up a little bit of money and building up my army as well. I've actually come across a companion here, Oshir Coalbiter. This is what he looks like here. I have given him a couple of items and stuff, so if we go into his inventory, he's got a northern rough hide cap of, of armor 13. He's got a scarf, he's got some arm wraps and stuff as well. I've also given him a horse, and I've given him a shield, and he's also got a bow and crossbow, uh, uh, sorry, a bow and arrows here with the uh, sword that he already had. Basically just to give him a bit of, um, flesh him out a bit, um, if you if you get what I mean. If you go into characters here, you'll see that he's actually really good at most things. One-handed, two-handed, pole arm, bow, riding, athletics, they're all really good here. His throw-in's 100, so he is very good. And he also has a lot of different attributes as well. Just got to get him better armor and stuff as we go along. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do, I think we're going to have um, a couple of battles. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll actually go and attack these looters. There's 18 of them here. Let's get a battle to start this episode off. Start as you mean to go on, as they say. Uh, oh, where the hell... Oh, that's strange. So I've clicked the looter there and he's gone down that way instead. I don't want him to go this way. I don't know what I'm doing. Actually, I'm literally walking on water right now. Is there any way that I can get back up? Yes, there is. I can go this way. I'm not going to chase after the one looter. Those other t uh, 22 have all disappeared. But what I'd like to do is, is have a battle or two in this episode and try and upgrade my proficiency. I'm going to go to Dunglanis and see what we can do here. But before we do that, let's just have a quick look at our quest because you, you'll you see that I, I need to get 2,000 dinars, grow my party to 20, which I've already done, get my renown to 50, which on 40, and get a companion. So I've got most of these, just got to get a bit more money and a bit more renown. And I've also got to do this other quest here, investigate Nerity's folly. I have talked to two lords, but I'm going to have to try and get that up to 10. Um, and I want to try and get a bit more money as well. Like I said, I, I've got some stuff I can sell and I've got 900 coins here but if I can get more gold then that's going to be useful to me going forward. I can get better armor and stuff as well. So let's actually look at the trader and what we'll do, we'll, we'll sell a bunch of our stuff as well. Let's just make sure we are getting rid of all the right stuff here. Uh, oil, actually that's really good. Oil will sell here for 73 so let's just get rid of everything. We'll keep the grain, we'll keep the arrows. I'm going to get 250 straight off the bat from doing that. Let's go back to the trader quickly though because I do want to look at weapons and stuff, so I've got a simple eastern back sword. they got a narrow sword here. Uh, I do have a shield, oh, a little wicker one. Armor is the main thing I want to try and upgrade. I need to get a scarf or a cloak or something, really. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the value. Uh, you can see they've got arm wraps and stuff. I actually saw something. Yeah, they've got a Highland cloak by here. Gives me body armor of two. I've got nothing there, so that would actually help to an extent. I could go for a Highland cloak with shoulder straps for body armor of four. Cost 200. That would look quite nice on me. There we go. So that's a bit more armor now given to me. I'll pay 234 for that. And then what else have we got here? Any helmets or anything that's better than what I've got? I don't think there is, is there? Um, but that'll do for now. Um, actually, this is perfect because they've got a, a tournament here. So if we join the tournament, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can actually win something here. I do have a guide on the channel where I discuss um, how to win these tournaments and how to do well. Ooh, this is interesting. It's, it's, it's all 1v1s. Hmm, an early retirement two-handed sword. I wouldn't mind using two-handed, actually. I will actually skip these rounds till I get to my own, myself. And Oshir Colbite has actually gone into the into the um, next round here. I'll be against him if I get through here, which is quite interesting. I will bet a little bit of money. Uh, let's just put a small amount on for now. And let's go against this Imperial Archer. Oh, and I've got a two-handed sword. Interesting. Oh! I haven't used a two-handed sword yet. Oh dear. <laughs> you can see why I haven't used a two-handed sword yet. I've actually lost... Didn't even get a hit on him. I've just lost some money as well. Hopefully Oshira can do the team proud and win. Let's, uh, let's skip through. And I've jinxed him because he's actually lost by right here. Oh dear. So, um, skip again. Batanian Horseman versus Batanian... Falksman, and it's the Falksman who's won it. Well done, sir. You have won the day. And that's a bit gutting, isn't it? This is why I need to train more in the arena. 
and try and get better attributes because as you can clearly see I was very much outmatched there. Uh, let's have a little wander around the, the lands around Dunglanis by here though because I, I wouldn't mind actually seeing if we can find some lords because we've got that quest to do obviously and we can have a little look to see what else we can do. Let's go to Car Banseth and see if there's any tournaments or stuff we can do up here as well. Okay, so we're going to go to the practice arena, see if we can get a bit better. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, look at that, one hit. I have lost like half my health. Oh god, oh god, he's got an arrow. Oh, sh shiver me timbers. Take his head off. Ooh, I like this two-handed axe though. It's a little bit slow, but... It is effective. I could do with a shield, to be honest with you. Oh, I have got some th throwing uh, javelins here. Lovely. Shit. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot, this two-handed weapon. I have earned five coins here. I have no health, so someone can one shot me quite easily by here, if I'm not too careful. Make sure no one spawns in behind me. I think staying to the corners is probably effective. There's 15 remaining. I'm hoping I can survive this. And swing to the hills. Oh, he blocked me. Shit. Oh, dear. He got me. Well, I got five coins, so... That was kind of worth it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But um, yeah, it's worth practicing. Otherwise, you don't really, don't really improve anything, do you? So it was worth doing that. Let's have a little, little wander around. Let's actually go over here. I haven't been in the snow yet, and we actually got the uh, Valandians up here. I quite fancy going to the Valandian lands and exploring over there for a bit. So let's have a little wander around and see what we can do. There's actually some looters over here. Let's try and take them out. Let's chase down these looters if I can. Oh, actually, I've almost got them. I've got them. Excellent. Okay, it's our little battle. We do outnumber them by quite a bit here, but... So what? Let's just fight them. I do want to get a battle in into this video. I think it's going to be night time, that's the only problem. I do hate fighting at night. Right, let's put my infantry up a bit quicker. Archers to the right flank. Get moving. Uh, let's get horse archers On to follow me. Plan. Get some organization here. And what we can do is shoot into the flanks. Hey, damage. Just mob them up quickly. It's not going to be much of a battle, is it? A little bit of damage there. This guy's running away, he's had enough. And someone's got him. Well done. I'm quite happy with the army that I have currently. I want to keep trying to level it up as best as I can. We've got some looters from that as well. Let's take the looters. We've also got some more loot which we'll take. It's going to come in handy. Okay, so what I've found out here. Lag Lagater is down by here. We're at this little village by here, okay? And if I look at the products, you'll see... Hardwood, it's green, so it's worth buying. It's actually 44% cheaper here than it is in, on average. And it can sell at Lag Eater for 21. So I'd be making a seven gold profit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy a load of stuff here. I can only carry so much though because of my capacity. So let's just get uh, 448 coins worth. I'm gonna head towards Lag Eater now because I'm hoping we can actually make a bit of a profit on this. So let's march towards Lagata, and if anything interesting happens on our voyage over there I will cut back to that point. And look at this by here, I'm just marching my way past almost at Lagata, and there's a massive battle going on by here, look at this, it's the Batanians and they're against uh, the Empire here I think and there's just so many people here, this is amazing, I can't wait to be in big battles like this but for now we're just gonna pass by and get to Lagata. so we're almost there and let's sell this this product here, you know, we just bought this, this wood and hopefully we can make a bit of a profit. We've got 322 coins at the moment. So I go to trade. And then, where's it gone? Hardwood. So, let's see what we can sell. So one is worth 32. So I'll get 512 for it. Um, 
which is which is fair enough, I guess. So we'll do that. Didn't make much of a profit there. Didn't do too good. But let's just see if we can do anything else here. So probably good goods. Let's see. Grain is 17 here. You can buy it for much cheaper elsewhere. Just looking at what we can get. Flax is no good. It's just cost 20 when you can get it for 8 in Donglanis. Um, so let's just kind of look at sort of trade routes and, and what's worth sort of purchasing. Well, now, wool's really good, but here, look at this. Wool only costs 28 per piece of wool, which is really cheap. It's 30% cheaper. And I can sell it for 56 in Donglanis and 49 in Maranoth. Donglanis is better because it's a. It's a you know a more of a white colour whereas it's greyed out here. If it's greyed out, basically it means that um, that rumour will probably expire soon. But these ones are more likely. So if I can get to Dunglanis, I can get fifty six for the wool, which I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a load of wool. Now I can only buy so much, so I'm going to have to drop it down to five eight two eight. If I get a lot, so eight hundred twenty eight. Remember that eight hundred twenty eight for the wool, and we're going to go to Dunglanis. That's not too far away, is it? It's just up here. Uh, say it's not too far away. It is a bit of a, a bit of a distance, but I'll I'll cut to this now and we'll see how much we make. Oh dear, here we go. Oshir Colbiter, my lord, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Go on, I'm listening. I hope you don't mind me saying this, but your men shed their blood for you. It bothers me to hear that their wages are late. Very well, I will consider taking such actions. Unfortunately, I've I'm I'm skint basically. Uh, let's go to. Well, we're almost at Dunglanis anyway, but I've I've spent it all on on the wool. I, I kind of went overboard. So I've lost a little bit of morale, unfortunately. But if I can trade now, uh, and let's get the wool all sold to you. So one piece of wool is worth 45, and I paid 28, I think it was, wasn't it? So I sell all of this, I'm making over a thousand pound just on wool. So I think it was worth it in the end. I've made a bit of a profit of, of a few hundred there, haven't I? So happy enough for that. Um, let's go check the arena, and let's go for a practice fight. Let's, let's have a practice fight here at Dunglanis and see what we can, what we can do. Oh god, I've really got a mace. Oh, what the hell? Look at this sneaky guy behind me. Yeah, yeah I got him. This guy with bow and arrow over here. I wish I, got, wish I had a shield right now. Oh dear, oh dear. Just charge him. Die. Oh, look at that, I got him. Oh, what's he got? He got a sword. Oh, he's got a bow and arrow. Uh, can I have the bow and arrow, please? Oh, I got throwing uh, stuff. I probably should use it. Oh dear. Throw a shield. I can't hit him. Run away. I am a coward. Yes, you're right, I am a coward. <laughs> Literally shouts to me that I'm a coward, and of course I am. You have a sh Oh! Oh, it's coming up Donkey Kong. Oh, I got him. Okay, I want that shield. Give me the shield, give me the shield, give me the shield. Got it, got it, got it. Oh god. Oh, the pain of it all. It's quite surreal, isn't it? So I've got a mace and I've got a, got a shield. I've just got to hold my shield up. I've only got a little bit of health left. A couple of archers. Oh, as I say, a couple of archers. The one just firing at me by here. Let's see if I can take him out. Just keep my shield up. The more you do this, the more experience you gain. So it is worth doing it. Oh. Until they hit you, of course. <laughs> well, I got five gold for that, so uh, cool. That's another five gold. Not quite as nice as the thousand I had for the wool, but I'll take five gold. Why not? Okay, let's let's see if we can find a lord. Let's let's try and do a few more a few more battles and a few more lords. Uh, my party have upgraded a little bit, so what we can do we can upgrade some of these here. So I've got an imperial archer. Let's make him an imperial trained archer. And then I've got an Imperial Infantryman, who I can make a trained infantryman. And i got some recruits here. Uh, let's see, let's have a look at the compositions. We've got one, four, oh, we've got five, six, seven, we've got seven missile troops there. And we have six, seven, eight. So let's get another archer. And we'll get another infantry. Get one of each. I'm trying to balance it out, sort of, it was like 50-50 of my 22. It's going to cost me 80 gold for this. And let's see where we are right now. We're in Dunglanis. I did say I wanted to go over here, so I do want to keep going this in this direction. So let's just go back. Let's go to Ox Hall and see what's happening over there. And hopefully we can find some lords as well. Okay, so we've got a little battle on our hands here. I put my archers on the hill just behind. Inventory in a line by here. Um, they're just going to throw their stones. Me and my, my dude, Oshir Colbider, are just going to shoot from this hill. And eventually I'm going to send him in, I think. Actually, I'll do that now. Warrior! Let's send Colbider in. 
I'm gonna go for the back, see if I can hit them at the back. Some damage there. Oh dear. I'm trying to kite them away. Dude's gone. Easy peasy. And my skill point in tactics is up to 21 now, so lovely. Oh, I hate forest battles. This is annoying. Uh, let's just... Oh, let's just get the charge. Archer's not going to be too effective, to be honest. Just going to tell everyone to charge. It's only looters again. I did notice some sea raiders on the map, so I wouldn't mind taking them on, because they're going to be a lot better to fight against than just looters constantly. But I'm fighting these battles just to get my morale up a little bit more. But uh, yeah, horsebacks in forests are not too good, to be honest. Oh, I can't hit him. Oh, got him eventually. Right, let's just roll away. Roll away from here, because we are getting completely obliterated by rocks right now. Okay, good shot. Overhit that one. A hey, shot in the back. Got him. And we have a victory again here. Happy days. Happy days. Okay, so I can. I've had to. I'm at, I'm at Rovolt right now, and I've just got rid of a bunch of stuff. I'm going to keep my grain and my arrows, but the rest can all go. I'm just going to look to see what they have here. So let's have a little look at the armor sets, because there's nothing that I love more than armor. Oh, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? 42 armor, and it costs 6 grand. I'm a little bit off that at the moment. My armor is 13. If I could afford something, which I, I could afford some of these, and these are better, for example. I mean, I could get something down here for like 21 head armor. And it's only going to cost me 486, so I might just do that. But I think the thing which needs to be improved the most out of all of these is probably um, the layered tunic or the arm wrap. So I'm just going to see what we can get here. Okay, and I got some leather gloves here. They they are arm armor 15, much better than what I currently have. And I think I will actually go for that nasal cap by here. So uh, where was it by? Cost an extra bit more, but this will give me an extra bit of armor as well. I'm going to keep this heavy one for my companion. So I'm only paying 242 with the stuff that I've sold. So nice bit of business there. And if I go to my inventory by here, and what I can do, this, uh, this horrible cap which this dude has, I can just stick this on now. And Oshir has got a much better helmet on here. Um, his arm wraps are pretty much... Well, I think I've upgraded them by one as well. So a little bit of business there. And again, we can go to the arena. And it's actually another tournament we can try out. So let's try out another tournament. Now I've got a better helmet hopefully we can do the biz this time and oh it's a team tournament lovely so <laughs> it's a team tournament look what you win a helmet who would have thought i just bought one and i could win another one by here so let's skip the first round uh we got the second round by here which is going to be interesting oshir cobalt has got through so that's nice for him i'm going to put a little bet down just a little bit and let's join and see if we can do better this time oh i'm on horseback as well this is interesting and it's a team battle four on four there's a dude on a horse there. I'm going to have to go for the dude on the horse as soon as I'm on a horse. I'm not very good at horseback combat, but I've just given him damage of 73. And I've just killed her, actually, so not bad. And my dude's uh, teaming up on the, the remaining guy, and we've actually won the first round just like that. So really pleased. Fantastic start so far. But it's now one-on-ones. Oh, dear. Interesting second round. All one-on-ones. Let's skip this. And poor old Oshir has gone out. And looking at this, Varmund and the Valadian Volgir are the two that have gone through. I think, is it two that go through? I'm not quite sure how this works. Um, yeah, this is kind of uh, weird, but let's just see what happens. Let's just join. It's all one-on-one -on -one now, so every man and dog for himself, basically. Oh, I've missed. I'm starting to get good at this um, this swing with the spear, I think. It's all horseback fighting, though, in this round, so this is interesting. Oh, damage. Give him 73 damage to that dude by there. And he's off his, off his horse. Two dudes left. 53 damage, just done to the back of that dude. 30, 33 to that dude by there. I'm actually quite liking this horse combat here. Let's see if we can take out these two by here. He's dead. He's going to be dead. If I can reach him. Surely. Oh, yes, we got him. Got all three of them. And we are through now to the next round. 
and it's 2v2. I see, so it's the red there and... Oh, I don't actually know how, what I'm talking about, to be honest with you, but we get to the semi-final anyway. 2v2. Uh, am I going to bet any more? I think we shall. We're doing quite well here, so let's just bet a bit more money. I'm not going to go full out in case I do lose, but... Oh, oh, okay, that's my dude, that's fine. Oh, I got a crossbow. Interested. Let's weaken, let's weaken my dude for the queue. Oh, I missed. I don't like this crossbow fighting. My dude's going to go in and try and take him out, though, which is nice. I'm not used to the crossbow. But we've won anyway. <laughs> Thank you, my dude. <laughs> We're actually through to the final against Varmund right here. I wanted to get a sneaky crossbow bolt on Varmund to in injure him for the final, but alas, here we are. A chance to win a helmet, which we've already bought, funny enough. Um, am I going to go a bit more on this? I think I will. Let's go. Let's, let's bet. Let's just bet just over 100. And let's join and see what we can do. Oh, it's horseback again. Okay, I would have bet more if I knew it was horseback. I'm in my element right here. Oh! Oh my word, that was absolutely electrifying. And we've won. <laughs> we've gained three renown by doing that. I've actually won a helmet. Heavy nasal helm over Imperial Mail. And we've got some money from the bets. I'm really pleased. That's, that, was, that was worthwhile. That was definitely worthwhile. I'm curious to see how good this helmet is. So my current helmet is 22 head armor. And this one is 34. Well, you just could not write this, could you? We, we've just spent a bit of money on getting a new helmet. And I've actually just won a much better one. With armor type 5 and head armor 34, we have a new permanent helmet for at least a long time in this campaign now. This new, um, this other one which I bought, it's not going to go to waste though, because Osher Coalbiter can actually have this. I'm going to keep this other helmet by here and this rough hide cap, because these are going to be useful to give to any future companions that I may end up getting throughout this campaign. But I'm really pleased with that, that's good stuff. I've actually leveled up by here as well, let's just apply them by there first of all. And what have we leveled up in here? Well, we actually have some bow proficiency that we can pick from here. So we are level 50. Hold aim for 15% longer or increase the readiness speed by 10%. I think readiness speed is going to help me because I can get more arrows away faster. Let's get a faster aim for that. And yes, that is a fantastic episode. And I'm really pleased with how things panned out there. But I think we will call it a day. I have been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.